Don't worry, these are cheap SSDs. Because I buy all my SSDs only on Amazon sales. Until I found out that there is even a cheaper option. How about a 1TB SSD for $50? A new model from China? Well, this is just a case uh, to plug the drive to ASB. The SSD is inside and it is called Nitac N600S. The particular model is 720 gigs of capacity and it cost me less than $50. The cheapest alternative I could find on Amazon was double the price. Oh, and as a bonus, GeekBuying sent me this tiny USB SSD for free too. But let's start with the cheap Amazon SSD first. So we could have something to compare the Chinese models against. Okay, slightly over 200 megabytes per second, which is pretty good. But what about twice cheaper Chinese option? Well, that color definitely matches my PC. And here is Nitac drive. Wow, it's not only twice as cheap but it's twice as fast too. I mean, this Chinese SSD will be plenty for anything, from gaming to video editing. It is as fast as my main drive I'm running this Hackintosh from. So to recap, Chinese model is twice as fast and twice as cheap as the cheapest SSD option from Amazon. And it is on par with my crucial MX500 M.2 drive. But I bought this SSD to be used as an external drive. So I got you this cheap USB case for $10. And let's see how it performs through USB. Well, it's almost the same as SATA. Again, plenty for any gaming or video editing. And the most importantly, it is an SSD. So I can use it on a go. And finally, let's test the small USB stick SSD. Which is almost as fast. And yet is way smaller. But the best part, it fits any USB device without any adapters. I can transfer half of a gigabyte video in one second and plug it straight into my phone or tablet, which makes copying videos between devices a breeze. So I'm definitely getting more of these cheap Chinese SSDs and you can find all the links in the video description too. Hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one.